Hey there, dividend investors. It's that dividend guy coming at you with another dividend investing video. Hopefully, everybody had a great green day in the market. Uh, <laughs> looks like we made some money, <laughs> which is great. Um, let's go over the overall portfolio, the individual stocks, and then the watch list because I've added some more stuff to the watch list. I want a bigger portfolio, I want more kings. So that's what I added. So let's take a look. Today, we're up about 400 dollars uh the week we're down 935 month we're up 1400 seven percent uh three month mark we're up 38 or 21.05 percent which i'm screenshotting because that's insane uh the year we're up 1882 and all time we're up 8.15 wow we're beating the s&p 500 right now well the average annual return of seven percent let's take a look at the individual stocks. Realty income, my div my monthly dividend payer. 15 shares, average cost of 45.38, up $10.65 today, up 268.50 or up 40%, nearly 40% on my uh, realty income shares. Uh, then a dividend king and Altria group, uh, we have an average cost of 41.89, so still a cost on average opportunity there. Uh, up $100 today, uh, down four eighteen fifty. dollars Let's take a look at that dividend, though, that juicy, juicy dividend of $121.80. So that is uh, three shares nearly, I think. Let me check. Uh, buying shares, three. Oh, oh, we're $2 away, and we have 30 bucks. Yep, that's three shares of Altria. Wow, that is awesome. Three shares. Every time it pays, that is 12 shares. Three, six, all right. Yeah, 12, sorry. It's it's 1 a.m. Um, <laughs> hard to do math. Three shares of, of uh, Altria Group every year. That's insane. Or I could buy three shares of Coca-Cola. Um, that's awesome. So we're down 4 18 50 which is not a big deal. It can cost on average. That's awesome, $121. That is insane. That's my goal from one company. Jeez. Next, we have Coca-Cola, Dividend King, 20 shares, 50, 126 is our average cost. 660, we're up today, uh, down 9, 92.70 or 9% on Coca-Cola. We do also have a dividend from Coca-Cola coming in, $8.20, so that will be my uh, Altria shares. Then FRT at 92.82, our average cost is 113.40. So uh, today we're up 277 or 3.08%. Total, we're down 20, <coughs> 58 or down 18.5%. 1.5%. Then we have Dominion, which I had them in the 36912, but they're actually in the 15710 category because they're paying me next month. Uh, <laughs> we have two shares, 8052 is our average cost, so we're up on these. Uh, up $1.74 today, up 881 total, and a dividend coming in of $1.88. That's awesome. So I got to adjust my uh, spreadsheet on uh, Excel and my board because I had that added on the wrong month. <clears throat> next we have Disney at 118. Our average cost is 105. Uh, and some change, so we are definitely up on Disney here. Up three dollars and fifty-six cents today. Up twenty-six sixty-six or twelve point six three percent on Disney. Then we're up to the second set of months with Lowe's with a dividend king. Uh, in in Lowe's, a uh, hundred dollars and eighty-six cents is our average cost. One thirty-one seventy-four is our is the market price, so we're up on that. Uh, Eight dollars we're up today. Up sixty-one total. Up thirty point six percent. Uh, then AT&T, an aristocrat, lower than $31, which is awesome. Um, 67 shares, up $18 today, down $13.66 total, but a good cost on average opportunity there. Then AbbVie at $96, 60 shares, $72.22. <coughs> Purchased that at a great price. Uh, it keeps on climbing. So we're up $175.20 today, up 3.14%. Total, we're up $1,426, or 32.92%. dry throat <laughs> uh then we have wells fargo oh is that oh that's the end for the that set of stocks uh but then we are on to 36912 with wells fargo 42 shares 2554 is our average cost up five dollars and some change today total we're up 118.14 that's within like a month i believe because i bought mo this month so last month i bought wells fargo i bought more wells fargo so yeah that's crazy we're up over 100 bucks in just a just a little over a under a month there. 
Uh, then Exxon Mobil at $47.99. Uh, 5792 is our average cost. So we're getting closer. We got a cost on average a bit. It was at like $63. So we're slowly cost on averaging on this up $47.60 today, up 1.8%. Total, we're down 556, but they're an aristocrat, so I don't mind buying more. Uh, then Target, a dividend king. Uh, 10 shares, 87.68 is our average cost. This one is a rocket ship for me. Uh, $10.60 is our total return today, uh, total all time. We're up 315.32 or up almost 40%. Then J&J, &J, another king, two shares, 135.79 is our average cost, up 758 today, up 18.50 total or up 6.81%. Then 3M, uh, we have two shares, 147.28 is our average cost, up $5.50 today, up 174% on the day. Total, we're up 26.41 or almost 9% on 3M. Uh, then we're on to the watch list with a uh, close to Dividend King, they're about two or three years away in Leggett and Platt at 34.21. 55.42 is our average, is our 52-week high, so about $20 upside in that stock. Definitely a buy for me right now. Then I added Genuine Parts, a Dividend King at 88. 108 is its average, or is its 50. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I keep saying average cost because it's a habit. Uh, but uh, $86 and some change is its low, so it's very close to its 52-week. Oh, sorry. Uh, today's low. Jeez. Let me let me re let me restart on genuine parts. It's a king. Sorry. Uh, it's 52 week high is 108. So I have 20 dollars of upside in the stock. There we go. So I buy it. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, then Walmart's close to dividend king status as well at 119. Eh, yeah, I have enough upside to buy it. Then PepsiCo at 131. Uh, it has just enough for me to buy it. Kimberly Clark at 140. Not touching it. 149 is high. Illinois Tool Works at 160, 190. Yeah, I'd be buying it. Is this 52 a guy? Uh, Colgate, not touching it. Well, see, I, I have less strict rules for Kings because I want my portfolio to be uh, compromised more of King status uh, than anything else. So I would buy Colgate, and I, uh, I added Starbucks. I might not buy it. I just took I took a look at it. Its dividend growth history is very good, so it's it's year over year growth is phenomenal. Then Procter & Gamble. I Sorry, I messed myself up because I'm so used to seeing Colgate followed by Procter & Gamble. Would buy it. Uh, General Dynamics is a aristocrat with about $30 upside there, so definitely buying that. SX Property, anything at or below $300 is a buy. Emerson at $63, at $78, eh, not enough upside for me. American States Water at $78, definitely a buy. Waste Management at $105, $20 upside there, definitely taking it. Mickey D's at 200 is a buy for me, so anything lower is a steal. PSA, anything at or below $230 is a steal, so I'm definitely buying that as well. <coughs> so a lot of buys overall. Um, looks like the market seems to be pretty fairly priced to me uh, right now. A lot of good deals. Uh, stocks are very, uh, very far off of their 52-week highs. Some of them not so far, and others are definitely a buy. Uh, so I might, I'm probably going to get rid of like say Starbucks or something like that off the watch list, but um, I do want to have my, the uh, breakdown of the portfolio. I want 60% in Kings, um, about 30% in Aristocrats. So 90% is going to be status and then anything else um, <coughs> will be either uh, stocks like Wells Fargo that are like dividend contenders that aren't Aristocrats yet or uh, like Disney uh, or Starbucks, but I am trying to be more status uh, driven uh, because I want uh, that dividend growth history. But another thing that I was thinking about is I wouldn't mind owning something like Google or even a Tesla. Uh, I, I'm not against growth stocks. I'm just a very passionate dividend investor. So if you guys want me to go into the, the growth stocks that I would be interested in or have even thought about buying, uh, I will definitely do that as well. Uh, that's more content for you guys. So um, I do have portfolio breakdowns for like Bill Gates, Wells, or, uh, I said almost Wells Fargo, Warren Buffett, um, and uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, but I haven't put those out yet. Um, those are like video ideas I have. Uh, but uh, if there are anything, if I can do more lists, stuff like that, uh, I have videos planned for you guys. So there's going to be a lot more content coming out uh, outside of just the portfolio updates. But anyways, guys, um, if there are any stocks that are really good values right now that are on your radar, let me know because I'm always looking for a good deal. Uh, and it has to, it, it really does have to be a status stock for me, though. 
Um, I might make some exceptions, like the names that I dropped, like I said, Google or uh, Facebook or Tesla. I would consider that, uh, but I would have to really like the company. Like Google, I am going to buy someday. I will. Uh, I love the company and I love the uh, revenue uh, that they have. But I'm a little iffy on Tesla, but I might buy into it just because I like uh, how diversified their their business is. But anyways, guys, sorry, I didn't mean to go on a rant. Uh, but that's the portfolio update for today with the overall portfolio, the individual holdings, and the watch list. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to watch me become a millionaire uh, because I, I will be. I'll be like a three millionaire, but I'll be a multimillionaire. But the journey is the most fun part. So if you watch these videos when I'm 24, you'll be like, I knew him when, and I think that'll be cool. So, uh, thank you guys that have subscribed. Uh, welcome to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are really enjoying the content. Uh, if any of the newer subscribers have any video ideas, please hit me up in the the uh, comment section because I'm always looking for new videos and new ideas. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another dividend investing video. Take care, guys.